engineer, that seemed like a lot. I had to prove to myself that I could do it. I'm Christina Rivera. I'm studying biomedical engineering. The first year was kind of my like stepping stone into it, like, oh yes, I can do this if I study hard enough and everything, that I'm capable of doing this. I can't see myself doing anything else. I think in high school, about senior year, all my guy friends were like, we're gonna be engineers. One of them, his dad was a petroleum engineer in Texas, and I was like, I don't wanna deal with oil. And then I realized biomedical engineering exists, and I was hooked. My driving force is my little sister and myself both have type 1 diabetes. I've seen with my little sister the low blood sugars, how they almost make her go into a coma and so sick. And so I have a driving force to like help those with medical disabilities, medical problems easier. I'm doing some research right now with Dr. Pappas. He's a chemical engineer. He's doing research with a grant from the Juvenile Diabetes Foundation. I didn't know beforehand that all of that research was just right at my fingertips. And the fact that U of A is like a tier one research facility is huge. I've always been the kind of kid to just kind of play around with things, you know, mess around, just kind of do stuff with, you know, invent new things out of old things. You know, I discovered engineering is just kind of a fancy way for being an inventor and I get to be an inventor and create for the rest of my life. So my name is Nikita Ramahali. I am a sophomore in electrical and computer engineering and also math. Just the whole idea of anything is possible because I'm a computer engineer. So what it is is you take abstract ideas and you can, you can program it into a computer and then you can you know, watch it download it into hardware and everything and this abstract idea becomes something concrete. You can't really escape life without engineering. Everything you're looking at has a little bit of engineering in it. I'm actually with a group on campus called Engineers Without Borders. And what we do is we go to third world countries right now, we're in Bolivia, and we um, see that they need sanitation. And so what we're doing is we're constructing latrines and showers um, to help with um, their problems of sanitation, to help their health issues kind of, re or reduce their health issues right now. They knew what the flow volume was. It's just the whole creative process of it is so incredible, and it's so much fun to be a part of, especially with other people, that I think that's a huge attracting aspect of being an engineer. And it is very challenging, but I think if you get through it, you know, you just come out stronger. My dad, he got a PhD, so I always kind of knew I wanted to go to college. There was always some sort of, you know, hinting towards, you know, hey, you should at least check it out and see what it's like. Really, when it comes down to it, I think structures is where I'm strongest and where my passion is. You know, when I go home and do my homework. The one that I actually enjoy doing is designing structures. Um, that's really where I see myself in the future and that's kind of what I want to continue to do. College of Engineering at the U of A, it's really a community. You're able to find the group of people that you kind of fit in with. For me, it's been the Society of Hispanic Professional Engineers. Has anyone already signed up to be a mentor? We're not just uh, for Hispanics or engineers. Everyone is welcome. But we kind of have a lot of different things that we focus on. Obviously the main thing is our members. We want to make sure that they're successful academically, so we do a lot of different things to help them out. And then we also bring middle school students and high school students and just trying to get them involved and find out what engineering is all about. We want to try and inspire, you know, that next generation of engineers. I can't see myself anywhere else really. It's just worked out so well. The people that I've met, um, what I've gotten to learn and what I've been exposed to has been great. The opportunities I've had, I was able to study abroad and do research within civil engineering and it's been really great and the people I've met have definitely made that experience even better. I love the challenges of engineering. Screws are placed in the bone above and below the fracture point. Also the challenges of just getting through a day in the classroom and the homework problems and the exams. It's fun to me to be faced with a problem and find a solution and and know that I achieved it. My name is Rachel Marshall. I'm a senior in the Biomedical Engineering Department at the University of Arizona. I'm from Salt Lake City, Utah. I really loved chemistry once I got here, and so I ended up falling into the materials science portion of biomedical engineering. It's the application of all the different types of engineering to the human body. So it could be electrical engineering, it could be optical engineering with like imaging, mechanical with prosthetics.
I love it and it absolutely was the right was the right choice. I'm so proud to be a woman in engineering. Engineering is all about innovation and innovation requires creativity and new ideas. And in order to have those things, you need new perspectives and different perspectives and those come from people with different backgrounds and stories. And so for that, you need diversity. <laughs> we all kind of have a close bond and that's really fun because it's like, it's just grow power, it's awesome. <laughs>